Sea monsters, volcanoes, and Mayan pyramids. The pools around Disney World may be way better than you realize. I can't wait to talk about these. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. One of the best things about the Disney World resorts is that anyone's allowed to visit them whether they're staying as a guest there or not. But only those who are staying at these specific Disney resorts are going to be able to use the pools at that location, which could mean that the big deciding factor for which Disney hotel you decide on could very well boil down to how awesome the pools are at each location. I know that I have chosen hotels based on the pools before. So today we are covering the top 10 Disney World resort pools in no particular order to help you decide which pool offerings are going to seal the deal for you and your family. Now, I grew up up near Buffalo, New York, and I lived in New York City for a long time, and I lived in New Hampshire for a while. So I am no stranger to snow and to needing to get away and escape. And so every time I would go to Disney World, the first thing I wanted to do was just get in the pool because I would usually go during like a wintry time or like early spring and like just need to get into the pool and feel the sun on my skin and just not be in the snow anymore. <laughs> so for those of you who get it, who know how I feel about that and who are, like realize how important that is to your vacation, this is the video for you. We're going to start with Storm Along Bay. Of course we are. I know lots of you are just yelling at your screens right now. Yay, Storm Along Bay at Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort. Everybody knows this is the best pool in Disney World. No holds barred. Nobody is questioning that. It's a mini water park right within walking distance of your yacht or beach club hotel room. Storm Along Bay is a pool enthusiast's dream come true. You've got a lazy river, a 230-foot-long water slide, three acres of water attractions, three whirlpool spas, and a sand bottom pool as well. In addition to that whirlpool that I always tell you guys about, which is just like not a whirlpool like a hot tub, it's a whirlpool like an actual whirlpool that you can like swim around in circles in. Now, did I just say this pool has a 230-foot water slide? Yes. Not only is this water slide one of the highest resort slides in all of Disney World, but it's also themed around a major shipwreck and an impressive one at that. The only major downside of this feature pool is that it can get loud and busy during those busy Disney vacation seasons. But if a crowded water park isn't your scene, don't fret. Disney's Yacht and Beach Club has three other leisure pools for you to enjoy too, including the Tidal Pool, the Admiral Pool, and Dunes Cove. Each of these pools is a whole lot quieter, plus they all have their own steaming water pool spas for you to enjoy as well. Next on our list is the Lost City of Cibola Pool at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. Even those who aren't here Huge fans of resort pools are still going to be impressed with one they'd find over at Coronado Springs dig site. The Lost City of Cibola Pool is hard to miss, and that's because it's got a huge Mayan pyramid overlooking the water. It's similar to what you're going to see over in the Mexico Pavilion in Epcot, only this pyramid has water trickling down its steps when the water falls on. The rest of the pool also falls in line with the theme of Mayan ruins. This pool's water slide is 123 feet long and designed to represent the spirit of a jaguar. Being spit out by a jaguar might not have been on your bucket list before, and it's never too late to tack it on now. And not too far from the pool, you're gonna find the largest hot tub in all of Disney World with enough room to fit 22 people, which actually sounds miserable, but nonetheless, still impressive. Next up is the Big Blue Pool at Disney's Art of Animation Resort. It's big, it's blue, and it's most definitely a pool. And those are just a few of the reasons why we love this Finding Nemo themed feature pool at Disney's Art of Animation. The Big Blue Pool stays true to its name by being the largest Disney World pool across all the hotels. And thanks to its bright colors and larger than life characters, this pool makes you feel like you're swimming alongside Nemo and friends. The buildings surrounding the pool are painted to show different parts of the ocean, like coral and fish and sharks. And once upon a time, Nemo and friends used to talk to you under the water too, but that feature was removed a while back for safety reasons. And let's not forget about that splash pad for the kids. The schoolyard spray ground has several pop-up jets where the little ones can burn off even more steam. But don't worry, grown-ups, there's plenty for you here, too. In fact, nearby Drop-Off Pool Bar serves several fun and flavorful poolside cocktails, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, that you can sip on as you kick back in a lounge chair and soak up those Orlando rays. And if you want a quieter pool experience, don't forget to check out Art of Animation's two other leisure pools, the Cozy Cone Pool, themed after Pixar's Cars, and the Flip and Fins Pool, themed after The Little Mermaid. 
Aside from being on Art of Animation property, what do these three pools have in common? They're all close to the resort's 24-hour self-service laundry rooms. So if you wanted to wash some clothes and pass the time waiting for them to get done by spending the afternoon lounging out by one of the pools, you can totally do that. All of Disney's resort laundry services have the ability to text you once your laundry cycle is finished, so you don't have to keep checking back in to keep an eye on things. While all three of these pools are brightly themed and immersive, keep in mind that they do not have water slides. In fact, none of the value resorts have water slides. So if that's a big red flag for you, then you best be looking more towards the moderate and deluxe resorts and their pool offerings instead. Now, I'm sure some of you have been waiting for us to mention this pool in our list, the Fuentes del Moro pool at Disney's Caribbean Beach. Aside from Adventureland and Magic Kingdom, this is the closest you're gonna get to living out your greatest pirate fantasy. The Fuentes del Moro at Caribbean Beach is inspired by colonial Spanish fortresses. And within those fortresses, you're gonna find water cannons that are aimed and ready to spray unsuspecting swimmers. And get this, you know how I said the value resorts don't have any water slides? Well, Fuentes del Moro makes up for that by having not just one, but two for you to ride. It's also important to note that since this resort is so incredibly huge, there are five different leisure pools across the entire hotel, which means you should have a pool close to your room no matter where you're placed. But if having a very cool feature pool within very close walking distance to your room is important to you, then definitely get a preferred room or request a building near this pool. Next up is the Lava Pool at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. What's a pool day without a little danger, right? I'm just kidding. The Lava Pool at Polynesian Village is totally safe, but this tropical hideaway does put you up close and personal with a volcano replica to give you a sense of danger at the very least. Actually, to really get your adrenaline running, the water slide here is no joke built into the volcano. So it's something for the kids to brag about to their friends when they get back home. And if you think the volcano would be the best part about this 142 foot water slide, my favorite part about it is the epic bird's eye view you get across Seven Seas Lagoon. Seeing Cinderella Castle from the top of a lava pool is very cool. Along with the palm trees, the tiki torches, and the waterfalls, the lava pool also gets placed pretty high in our rankings due to how close it is to Dole Whip at all times. Just walk over to Pineapple Lanai and grab yourself a traditional cupful or see what seasonal flavors are available for you to try instead. And if you want that Dole Whip spiked, don't forget you can get the spiky pineapple at the Tiki Terrace, which is right off the pool as well. Next up is the Dubloon Lagoon at Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter. Of course, we're gonna talk about the Sea Serpent Pool. Now, hold on, I'm about to introduce you to a little thing called pool hopping, but first, let's check out the French Quarter's Dubloon Lagoon Pool, a Mardi Gras-themed getaway complete with an alligator band, New Orleans decor, and oh yeah, a 51-foot-long sea serpent slide with King Neptune riding up top. Ah, Disney, you think of everything. Okay, okay, I'm sure you're all stuck on what I just said about pool hopping. After all, doesn't Disney say guests at one hotel can't enter into the pool of another resort? Absolutely, but there are a couple loopholes. This loophole can only be accessed if you're staying as a guest at one of the Port Orleans resorts. If you're at one of these two resorts, then you can definitely hop between pools, whether they be the feature ones or leisure ones. And you know what that means? That means you'll have access to over half a dozen pools. Port Orleans Resort Riverside has a feature pool called Old Man Island and five leisure pools, while French Quarter has our beloved Dubloon Lagoon. So if you want lots and lots of pool options to choose from, this may be a huge factor you wanna consider when choosing a hotel. Next on our list is the Beach Pool at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Now this is a new entry to our best pools list. The Grand Floridian's Beach Pool may not have a sea serpent slide or a looming volcano, but it does luxury really well. There are plenty of lounge chairs available around the poolside, serene cascading waterfalls nearby, and once again, you've got a picture perfect view of Seven Seas Lagoon, which you can admire while sipping a Mai Tai from the nearby pool bar. But if you really wanna be living in the lap of luxury here, Grand Floridian kicks the bougie factor up a notch by also offering cabana rentals. Cabana rentals at the Beach Club Pool include amenities like personal cast member to provide you exclusive service, padded pool furniture, a ceiling fan, a smart TV with cable, a stocked mini fridge with waters and sodas, and cushy towels. You may also receive a fruit or snack basket if you book one of these cabanas before your trip instead of snagging one the day of on a first come first serve basis. Cabana rentals can also be made at the pools at the Contemporary and the Yacht and Beach Club too. 
You can reserve your cabana before your trip by calling 407-WDWPLAY. Next on our list of best hotel pools in Disney World is the Riviera Pool at Disney's Riviera Resort, another new entry to the list. Once again, the Riviera Pool doesn't have any over-the-top theming that helped earn its place on our list here, but there are a few noteworthy features that you're going to want to know about. Feature 1, the water slide wraps around an impressive column tower. Feature 2, the Sea Vu Play water play area is themed around the classic Disney film Fantasia. And Feature 3, the nearby open air pool bar, Bar Riva, is extremely underrated. Bar Riva serves European and Mediterranean inspired cuisine and cocktails and drinks made to order. Although the Riviera pool doesn't get wildly noisy like some of the other feature pools can, it does still get a bit rowdy at times. But when that does happen and it's interrupting your much needed R&R, you can always choose to escape to the leisurely Beau Soleil pool instead. Okay, I'm very, very excited about this one. It's newly renovated. Well, it was renovated a few years ago, but for me, that's new because I've been doing this for a million years, right? The Copper Creek Springs Pool at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. What better place to take a dip during the summer than in an authentic looking but super purified outdoor spring? Copper Creek Springs Pool at Wilderness Lodge lets you feel one with nature. The pool is surrounded by lots of natural elements like trees and boulders, and it also has a babbling brook that runs from inside the resort lobby and drips down all the way into the pool itself. Not really, but they make it look that way. There's also a giant water play area for the kids to splash around in if they need a break from all that swimming. And the pool is a hop, skip, and a jump away from one of our favorite pool bars of all time, Geyser Point Bar and Grill. Geyser Point blends two different dining styles, table service and quick service, into one comfy, cozy location. The featured cocktail list at this lounge also contains beverages unique to Geyser Point, featuring spirits straight from Northwest distilleries. One more thing I want to mention before moving on to another epic pool is that all of the Disney Resort pools across property are, in fact, heated. So even if you decide to visit Disney World during a cooler season, the pools should always be kept around 82 degrees. Just keep in mind that those beginning winter months of the year leading on into the spring is when Disney usually closes down a good chunk of their hotel pools for routine maintenance and refurbishments. You can find out about these closures ahead of time by checking the main page of your resort on the Disney World website. Or we'll let you know about them too if you sign up for our DFB newsletter, which I'll link down in the description for you. Right there around December and January, there's a lot of blog posts that say pool closures. (laughs) And we've got Animal Kingdom Lodge, of course, Uzima Springs Pool and Samawati Springs at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. A day out on the savannah or a day out at the pool? What to choose? Well, how about both? The Uzima Springs Pool and the Samawati Springs Pool at Animal Kingdom Lodge are both only steps away from the resort's full savannah, where 30 species of African wildlife, like zebras, giraffe, and flamingos, roam the grounds. But why am I shouting out both pools? Because they're both incredibly spacious, so you don't feel like you're constantly swimming on top of other guests. Both pools also feature a water slide, though the one over at Samawati is longer, as well as a nearby pool lounge and bar with refreshing specialty drinks and some snacks to munch on. Samawati Springs also has a splash pad called Uwanja Camp with three different play areas for the kids to explore, including, but not limited to, a bubbling geyser, a water cannon zone, and squirting African irises. Whichever Disney resort you decide to go with, make sure to carve some time out of your big vacation to check out whatever pools might be available. After all, if you're shelling out all that major dough to stay there anyways, it's best to take advantage of anything and everything your price tag includes. Want to keep studying up on the Disney hotels? We've got tons more hotel-specific videos for you to check out on our channel next. But if you're looking for the latest news about what you can expect from your upcoming stay, make sure to keep checking back here with us for any and all major updates. We've got our latest news videos on Saturdays. Thanks for listening, everyone, and thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.